Hello, friends. My name is Andrei Lobov. I am from the company Steen. And today I want to share the latest news with you. News covering several months. And I want to get straight to my favorite topic. It is the tricycle tuk-tuk with Josh Maxima. We tested it in the summer, in the autumn. We loaded it with 500 kilo blocks. We put solar panels on it, 600 watt. And we made sure that our motor DA90S with combined windings allows to run this tricycle, this heavy tricycle, so it allows to reach the speed of 20 km per hour without the battery. But as we installed the battery there, 50 ampere hours, it gets charged from solar energy all the time and it allows to cover up to 75 km per day. It allows to cover this distance per day. I tried it myself, I sent my car to repairs and I used this tuk-tuk to go to work and from work I saw for myself that this vehicle is great, it is very resistant, it is very economical, easy to control and easy to run, easy to maintain. We sent it to the city of Kursk. It was used in a greenhouse business there. And it proved to be great. As of today we have received a request for using it in the central park of Sochi as a little coffee shop, a mobile coffee shop. Now we need to take it from Kursk equip it further and send it to Sochi. And well, speaking of tuk-tuks, we have prepared four kits, the same kits. We prepared them for installing them on the same Bajaj Maximus. And we included solar batteries and controllers for solar batteries in the kit. And of course, our motor DA90S with combined windings is also part of the kit. We have packed all of it already. And we are preparing it to be sent to India in its package. And now a couple of words about a motorbike, Bajaj Pulsar motorbike. It is a very popular model. That is why we selected it for re-equipment, for transforming it into an electrical motor. We used the motor DAS, which was more powerful, 5 kW. We tried and tested this motorbike in the summer and in the autumn we gave it to the blogger Matvey, who highly acclaimed our work. He really loved the reduction ratio, he liked it that, well, it was autumn and it was rather chilly. And theoretically, this motorbike can cover 170 kilometers. So we have now prepared it to send it to Sochi. Snow does not allow us to test it here. There we have winding roads, we have slopes, and climate is warmer there. We will definitely know what distance it can cover, how it does it, how it behaves, whether this kit can be offered to our partners, because they have already seen it. Birdi has visited us. I'm sure that all of you know him. He had a ride and he was delighted with this motorbike, especially that it is an Indian model. We exchange messages with Birdi Kumar, we call each other, we talk about how to promote this project further. And another interesting piece of news. Several months ago we received a commercial order. A large company came to speak to us. It is a holiday center, well, a resort. The director of this holiday center told us that it was prohibited to use gas transport in Chilabinsk region. No gas transport at all. Neither water transport, no automobile transport, nothing. But as fishermen and tourists, everyone who likes having a rest in the mountains, in beautiful places, at the lake, they have to get around somehow. So we received an order for a husky, an electrical husky. We prepared it with the DA90S motor. And the video 
on how this husky is used in Chelyabinsk region will be prepared very soon. We will show it to you very soon. And I have mentioned the husky and another interesting thing. Some time ago, Jill Weber visited us. He was accompanied by his assistant, Barbara. They are from the African continent. They are very interested and they have been interested for a long time in motors made by the Slovenka technology. And of course, they wanted to see how it works. They had a ride on the electrical husky with a great pleasure. Everyone was really happy about that. After the husky, we made them try a Sherpa. It is a cross-country vehicle. We had a ride in the water, in it, in the river. And it is interesting that we already have this cross-country vehicle in the electrical version. It has two motors with combined windings in it. The electrical version of the cross-country vehicle is now at the stage of development and testing. Very soon, as soon as this work is completed, we will show it to you. And of course, we could not not mention our latest project as of today. This is go-karting, an electrical go-kart. Our guests, Jill and Barbara, we took them to Sochi, to Krasnaya Poliana where we test this kit made specially for go-karts. It is a Berlin go-kart, very popular. It's called Rima. We installed this reductor there with the motor DA90SM with a cooling system, with a ventilator, with this pulley, which transfers the reduction ratio to the wheels of the go-kart. And our guest had a ride on this model with a lot of pleasure. I think that this is the best electrical go-kart as of today. It is very economical. It allows to run for 60 minutes in the rental mode Everything depends on the ride, of course. Sometimes you can go for up to 70 minutes. It is 6 to 7 runs, 10 minutes each. This is a lot. For example, today a Latvian kit, which is installed on such go-karts with a BLDC motor, it can only run for 10 minutes. As for the others, I can't tell you much. Because today, electrical go cards are really rare. There are very few models. We have entered this domain and we are trying it, we are testing it. We are eliminating failures and errors. I think that we will be finished with this kit very soon. Another interesting project to my mind is, well, we got an order to install our motor on a mini gallant wagon, an automobile for children. It was quite a difficult order, because the car, the frame themselves were fabricated already, and it was very difficult to get into the spots which were left for our motor. The motor is big. But we coped with the task. We installed our motor, we developed a reductor for it. The client was generally happy, the car is functioning well, it can go over curbs, it can go up slopes, it can run in the sand, a real gallant wagon, a real cross-country vehicle. Well, friends, on this I think that I will finish with the news. There are a lot of projects, a lot of orders, but they are not yet started. They only exist on paper for the moment. This is it, in terms of interesting things which have happened. It's not that we disappeared, it's just that we were working really hard. Well, keep in touch, follow us as soon as something interesting comes up. I will make sure to share it with you.